this episode of It's Me or the Dog. <laughs> Victoria meets Judy and Louie, whose marriage has been besieged by a nine-pound miniature poodle. Two-year-old rescue Manny thinks he's the man of this household. I'm about to throw this dog out of the house. And has claimed Judy for himself. My mommy carries me everywhere. His outrageous behavior is fueling countless fights with Lhasa Opso's Shayna and Butch. And between husband and wife. Can Victoria tame this possessive poodle before he tears this family apart? Now stop, everybody, stop. Or will Judy have to make a choice between her Manny and her man? Can't imagine that my husband would leave me over a dog, but we've come really close. <laughs> this little dog's out of control, and I, I think he knows he's in charge. He uh, is very aggressive, like when I approach Judy. It's all right. Well, now it's OK. Now he's being a good, good pooch. Oh, no. oh Manny boy. All right, calm down. Manny, Manny, Manny. Hey, hey, OK, I got him, I got him. I got you, I got you, Butchie. I got you, Butchie boy, I got you, I got you. Wow. Come here, come here. Mm -hmm. You OK? Come here. That is quite a reaction. Now, the bedroom situation is totally absurd. It's out of control. <laughs> It's it's chaotic. It's turned into a circus. This is where it really gets into a barroom brawl. You know, I come in bed at night, I want to either kiss Judy goodnight, maybe take the remote control, and all heck breaks loose. It gets crazy. So um, I'll show okay. you. Yeah. Okay. He'll get, he'll get, he'll get, he'll get, he'll get, Manny, Manny, take it easy, Manny, 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 take it easy, Manny, Manny, hey, 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 hey. When Louis handed the remote to Judy, it was shocking, the response. Manny went crazy, and the fight was very scary. So would I be right in saying that you've lost your wife to a poodle? I think so. We got Manny in our life, and it's like a hurricane has just come in. Mm, that's quite a hurricane. Now it's time for her to deliver a dose of reality to Louie and Judy. OK. Why do you think that Manny is behaving in the way that he does? I think he thinks we're married. <laughs> and Louie's the other man. A dog doesn't see itself, you know, as your boyfriend or your husband. Right. But a dog can become extremely possessive. And the more it is indulged, by somebody, the better it feels inside. So the more it feels the need to possess. It's affecting everybody. your relationship. It's affecting the relationship with your dogs. I think Judy probably is feeling a little bit shocked or maybe hurt. Victoria drove the point home. You know, snap out of this little crazy world you're in with Manny. If you don't change the way that you are with him, it will not stop. I'm starting with Manny just by himself because I don't want the other dogs in the room while we're going through this training. And this is where the crate comes in. I think that crates are awful, horrible things. That crate is not gonna be a permanent fixture in our house. First of all, I'm gonna place the crate over here, down by your side of the bed. Judy, I'd like you to go lie down on the bed Manny's going to come with you. Come here, little boy. You are going to walk up, and as soon as there is a negative reaction from Manny, you go, uh-oh, and you put him in the crate, and you zip it, OK? Timing here is essential. If you wait too long, that gives him time to escalate. The main negative consequence here is that he's been taken away from Judy, the person who he is very possessive of. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh oh. Good. Very good. Take him out. Okay. So go for the remote control. Uh oh. Manny, it seems, is not ready to give in. Ah! Uh oh. Good time. No. Good. 
Uh-uh. Uh-oh. It takes over 15 minutes and 12 more attempts. You look like you're afraid of him a little bit. That's it. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Very good. good. Boy, That's it. When Manny didn't aggress, Louis gave him the treat. So now there are pleasurable consequences to Louis's approach. I'd like it if you could just give her a quick kiss. I would like that very much. Just on her head. Wish me luck, folks. When Louis leaned in to kiss me, I was a little worried that Manny might go for his throat. Good boy, Manny. Good boy. Good boy. I don't know what to say except I'm shocked. Victoria got us to step number one, and that was the hardest and most important step in the bedroom. I want you from now on. This cupped hand right. is going to be your safety net. OK, I'll remember that. Sometimes this cupped hand has fantastic food. Sometimes it has nothing. Right. I've used the cupped hand signal so that Manny actually can't see into the hand to see if there is a treat there, because sometimes he'll get a treat and sometimes he won't. But when he sees that hand cupped, he never knows if there is one in there for him. I want Manny to see your approach as not a threatening thing. But if he behaves negatively, you're going to leave. Judy is Manny's most valuable resource. So it's bad if she gets up and walks away. He doesn't like that. So I'd like you to just go to the edge of that chair and then walk forward. Stop. OK. Manny? Up. Oh, that's it. Go. Go. Walk out. Don't talk to him. Come back. OK, okay so. try again. Good man, Annie. Lovely. Lovely. Good That's boy. amazing. <laughs> now, Victoria wants to up the ante. What happens when you come down and sit down next to her? It can get pretty rocky. It can get pretty rocky. OK. All right. Good boy. And I was blown away that Manny got it like that. I mean, it, it's a wonderful feeling now, because Judy and I have never really been able to relax in that den together, or even sit together without Manny going bananas. Amazing. Let's get Shayna back in here. But the real test Shana. comes when Victoria introduces Shayna to the mix. Judy, one growl from any of the dogs. You are up and out of there. OK, go for it. Now go, go. I had a little mini stroke. I thought actually one of my dogs was getting hurt. Go back and sit down. That got their attention. I needed to break up that fight quickly, so I squealed as loud as possible, and they stopped. By me squealing like that, yeah. it told the dogs, ow, you yeah. really hurt me. Yeah. Now, let's get Manny back Come on here. your lap. Come here, little man. Good, and you walk back. You walk out. There you go. Now, what's ah. happening? Now, you see? No, stop. Everybody, stop. Stop. Shayna is starting this. It's true. Shayna does not understand. Manny wasn't even growling. But Shayna, because this is a picture she sees all the time, that's what she's supposed to do. She was the one who started it. It was really interesting to see that Shayna still expected Manny to aggress. And it shows how dogs have a ritual for behavior. Because whenever Louis approaches Judy, Manny goes ballistic. That was the behavior she expected out of Manny, and that was the behavior she expected out of herself. So we're going to have to try something a tiny little bit different, just tweak the training a little bit. Okay. When you approach Judy on the sofa, I want you to call the dogs to you. All dogs come. So all the dogs come to you, and then you can go sit next to Judy. OK? okay? Yeah. Let's try it. Manny. Uh, Come here, Shayna. Come here. All dogs come. All dogs come. Come here, Shayna. All dogs come. Man, you got both of them. OK, go sit next to Judy. Next to me. That's it. Good. Now ignore. Good. Manny! Manny, come here. Next, the couple works on Manny's guarding issues in the bedroom. Judy has the crate on standby in case Manny aggresses. Here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you almost fell off. Manny, sit. Sit, Manny. Sit. Good, Manny. Good. Good boy. My relationship with my husband has 
gotten better than it's been in the two years I've had Manny. We don't have to constantly watch out for some sort of aggression. I was never able to do this before, huh? Huh. This is great. With Manny's guarding in the bedroom behind them, Judy and Louie now work on his guarding in the living room. As Louie approaches with a cupped hand, ready? Judy is also ready to remove herself if needed. Good boy, good boy. Sit down, Manny. sit down, sit down. See what it is. You want to take that? You good take boy, that? Manny. Good boy. Thank you, Daddy. Good boy. Good boy, Manny. I am very We're proud of you, you little man. man. Manny really has come a long way in a very short space of time. Judy and Louie, everything is looking really great. I'm gonna let the other dogs in now and see how we do, all right? Okay. Okay, good. Well, this is interesting. Louie, you forgot to use the old dog's cum command before sitting down. If you don't remove all the dogs from the sofa, you're only adding tension to the situation. Wow. You didn't have to do good, all dogs come. Good, 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 good boy. Good boy. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh my god! All dogs come. Oh, they haven't done that in a week. All right. That's why it's so important to stick to the training exactly as I've taught it. You've gotten complacent, uh -huh. and now you're back to square one. I'm coming back to help you. Having seen Judy and Louie veer off course with the training and the dogfight that resulted, Victoria is returning with a renewed sense of urgency. There's one thing I was concerned about. That fight that happened on the sofa, and all the dogs were there, Manny didn't do anything, Shayna started it. You have to get these dogs off the sofa. Mm -hmm. Then you sit down. OK. Let's start no time like the present. Let's yep. get on with it. All right, OK. One of my concerns was that Louis especially got a little complacent in the living room. He began to go too fast with the training, and a, and a fight resulted. So, now, so Victoria wants to guide Louis through the training again. The first time you're going to do it, you're going to have some treats in your hand. Right. And you're going to come, and you are going to, before you sit on the sofa, say all dogs. Gotcha. OK. Um, and remember, make Sure, they all get off on the sofa and come to you. As soon as they have their treats, then you come and sit on the sofa. Okay. All dogs come. Go. Good. Get Shana off the sofa. Come here, Shana. Come on down. Come on down, Shana. Come on down. OK, walk off into the kitchen again. Walk off with your treats. Good. Now walk back. Good. Very good. Good, Shana. Good. Good. Nice. Good, good, good. Good. In case there is a dog fight, Victoria has a new, non-confrontational way to get the dog's attention. My idea of using whistles, if you can just have them strategically laid out, yeah. you pick that whistle up and you blow it as hard as, hard as you can. Once the dogs have stopped fighting, you sit back down and you don't look at them or talk to them or do anything. I'm glad Victoria brought us whistles today. We're going to definitely have to keep those close by until we get things down with Shayna. When I first came in here, Manny was causing a lot of problems, not just amongst the dogs, but with you guys too. Yeah. And now I hope that Manny's behavior is better, that you'll be able to uh, you know, enjoy him and not argue over him and be on the same page. Continue, 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 because this goes on for life. We will. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Thank Bye. You, Victoria. See you. Thank you. Since the training and since Victoria has showed us how to work with these dogs, the house is much more relaxing. Judy and I are spending much more time in a peaceful way. It's really been a, a real nice time now. Put you all dogs come. Good boy, Manny, good boy. He is a good boy. He's a different dog is what he is, aren't you, Manny? Judy and Louie's issues all stem from a lack of boundaries. Now that they've set those limits and they're treating their dogs like dogs, it has brought peace to their home and to their marriage.